This is four-year-old Cleo Smith. Her family had been happily living in the northern WA town of Carnarvon. Cleo had started at a local primary school. Her mother, Ali Smith, worked as a beautician based at the Carnarvon TAFE and stepfather, Jake Glidden, at a nearby mining operation. They decided to take Cleo and her seven-month-old sister, Isla, camping. They set off on Friday, October the 16th, about an hour north of town, taking Blowholes Road to a remote beachside campsite of the same name. The camp is basic, with several shacks and spaces cut out from the thick coastal scrub for tents and caravans. It's just gone 6.30pm here at the Blowholes campsite, around about the same time of day that the family arrived. I'm told that this is the very spot where they pitched their tent. They ate and put the girls to bed, following soon after. About 1.30 Saturday morning, Ali gave Cleo a drink of water before tucking her back in. Police say they've spoken with about 100 other people who were there that night. But not everyone has been identified, including someone who opened Cleo's tent and secretly snatched her away into the darkness. Because when Ali and Jake woke up that fateful Saturday, Cleo and her sleeping bag were gone. One of the largest land, air and sea searches in WA history was launched. Police, SES and defence personnel scoured every inch of the rugged coastal area, but day after day there was no sign of Cleo. All the while, detectives were investigating the suspected abduction and it became their number one theory. Campers were interviewed and searched, Cleo's biological father met detectives and was ruled out, so were Ellie and Jake, who by day four of the search made an emotional public appeal. Just report it. What if it was your child and someone knew and didn't say something? Yeah. Any news can help. By the week's end, hope that she'd wandered off was abandoned and the Premier announced a reward. We're going to offer a $1 million reward uh, to anyone who provides information. Come day nine, detectives had their first real lead. Another motorist had seen a car turning right towards Carnarvon off Blowholes Road about 3.30 on the morning in question. Detectives scrambled to find evidence of the vehicle on CCTV and dash cam recordings. The 50 kilometre stretch of bitumen is the only sealed road out of the campsite, but it's not the only way out. Meanwhile, forensics examined Cleo's family home in South Carnarvon, but police say there is no suggestion her parents were involved. Well, they're not suspects, like I've said. With a 100 officer strong task force on the case, the lead detective visited Carnarvon, but he still has no suspects and no evidence of the mystery car. The public are still asked to keep an eye out for Cleo, her sleeping bag and the pink pyjamas she was last seen in. James Carmody, ABC News.